Moscow. What's the first thing you... Obviously, we're building a lava. What are you thinking, bro? Obviously, we're doing this. Let's cruise it down right there. Not a very good tile. And a good adjacency bonus. That's sort of my uh, general theory about these forests. At some point, though, we got to do something about these constant forest fires, man. It's a little bit too crazy, in my opinion. Oh, run away, run away. Archer better survive this. Finally, horses repaired and a farm triangle. We love to see those. Do I have any others? This one is almost a farm triangle. Been neglecting that pretty hard. Should not be doing that sort of thing, but it's what I've been doing. And then another farm triangle down in Kazan. That one actually was completed. Thank goodness. Ancient Wall's almost done here, too. Let's get to see. The reach of my empire, but he's mad happy for me. Dude, I have got quite a few cities. I'm pretty happy for myself, too. Record history complete. Campus adjacency bonuses. We don't need that this game. We'll be fine. Matter of fact, I don't think I've got a single campus in this game. What, is this a city-state emergency? Uh, pass. I'm not getting involved with this. That's fine. What I can get behind, though, is fighting enemy missionaries. Do I have the debater? Is this the dude? Yes, it is. You're coming down. Gotta keep tabs on this dude and make sure they do not escape before we get them. I'm a big fan of the theological victories because you get so much good spread pressure and it's kind of for free. Oh, and not to mention, they also lose their dude. Just makes me real happy. What's this, a new governor title? Let me promote Mr. Cardinal here. We're gonna go patron saint now. Apostles and warrior monks trained uh, over in Kazan. These dudes are gonna have an extra promote. Let's figure that out right now. Apostle built. What's going on in the city? Well, like we were talking about, commercial hub. Let's sit one of those down on the forest. We're gonna get some more traders pretty soon. That will help our science. That will help our culture. Oh, and I'm just realizing that my iron is maxed out, and I don't have any use for iron in units. Just horses, man. Just horses. So let's see what people will give me. Uh, the French, sorry, the Germans are really paying up. Uh, my friend, the Scythians, although they have no one to fight but me, so let's not give them any of that. Finally, we got a couple luxuries, but the world is poor, or they just do not want truffles, evidently. What's this? Loyalty? Loyalty in the rough guy. No, no, no. That is not right. Minus 4.3 per turn? Well, that's actually significant. What happened? Lubin was settled, and that's causing me trouble, huh? Not a fan of that, but everything else in my government policies seems to be okay. Uh, what I should look forward to is when do I get another governor so I can just slap him in there and give my guy some loyalty. Medieval fair, 16 turns. Narovgod, you can hold that 16 turns, I pray. Do I need to, here, I'll buy you a monument, that should help make you happy. Maybe that's what it was, but selling off all those uh, luxuries just made them not happy. Free barb camp, though. Thank you to the Scythians for doing all the hard work. I'm gonna run away now and stay away from that man-at-arms, if that's okay with you. And truffles number two, which people apparently do not care about. What they will care about, though, is this big dub 500-point <clears throat> swing in all those. I think it was just a Nerov God, though, which is a shame. And that does help your loyalty, right? Yes, now we're gaining. Thank goodness. So that's what happened. I just lost um, lost the religion, and with that, you lose that bonus loyalty. Shows you how important the religion really is, my man. Let's cruise you up here. Fight off the Swedes. Two more. Oh, Translator. That one's super strong. Gives you way more strength in opposing civilizations, because we are trying to spread the religion after all, guys. Ooh, they're going after me here in the north. Um, all I can really do is try to survive and distract, because I've got a settler that wants to go, but it might not actually be able to go due to all these dang forest fires. Anyhow, let me keep up and stay near to these opposing missionaries. Actually, let's just fight them. I don't need to get the promotion in this exact second. What I do like to do, though, is get some damage down. Speaking of, where the here is the debater apostle. Okay, you gotta come through. Try to inflict as much pain as you can on these guys. While the uh, prothalizer, is that right? This dude comes through. Doesn't matter what kind of pressure is already in the city, spread that religion, and you better bet Panda Gang is spreading with them. Ah, engineering, the aqueduct. That's just in time. Smolensk is just finishing up their temple. We'll come back to that in just one second. For now, we got eyes on the debater battles. Okay, that went pretty well for me. Let's get the actual great debater up there. As we continue to make more and more farm triangles, that was a misclick, but it will just re uh, create a farm trapezoid. Also, that farm trapezoid works, by the way. Now, with the prothalizer, you remove a ton of the opponent's pressure. So you want to find out where is the most at. So I see here, Potrovka, yeah, this spot right here. I'm cruising in all my might, and I'm going to unleash. Engineering complete. Uh, 
machinery. I guess we could get some pretty sweet crossbowmen. But really what we want is coursers when it comes to military might. That said, like, do I really care that much about military might? Oh well. What's this? A meeting house? Volga, have you turned to the dark side? Protestantism, what is going on here? We're gonna have to send our dudes northwards as well. Do a little bit of defense work against the Swedes. Well, I guess we're kind of doing that down in the south too. Take this fight to them. Protestantism falling in just two lands, just two. But maybe we can follow, yes, there's the other missionary. We followed him with the great debater, that's perfect. And like I was saying, farm trapezoid, beauty stuff. Hey, dude, I was wondering why Smolensk, yo, why aren't you growing? Your housing's no good. Because I can build a buto. That's nowhere near as nice as having the panda gang around, man. Way better. My plan for this dude, monument. And then let's slap the aqueduct down already in preparation. We do the same in all these cities. Slap you down. And almost the same color, the preserve. There's definitely an interesting argument to be made for placing one of these guys down. We're gonna get crazy yields all around it. I say we toss you right here, buddy. Okay. Don't need to finish you up just now. We'll go back to Settler, but we will come back to this. The thing with the preserve is you gotta hit 10, oh, what? Four pop or greater? I thought it was 10 pop. Okay, this is gonna change the game, man. These northern cities with the preserves are gonna be looking really nice. This guy right here, I was gonna have you make a meeting house, but you know what? Meeting houses are kind of trash. Instead, let's get a preserve. This seems to me like a good spot. We're gonna get some decent housing out of it. And I believe these, yeah, this is lying. You're not actually getting doubled up yields. All right, debater, where'd this guy go? Follow him down. Ah, uh, my apostle is finally here. Only has one spread left, but let's pop it off. And now Eastern Orthodoxy, no longer winning, dude. I've actually got two of the three converts, but you need 50% of the actual city population to convert that city to your own. We're indeed looking good though, but why do these warriors keep coming back? He's gonna stomp on my dang horse again, dude. Oh no, the only thing that could have been worse, the, the man at arms was turned into that from a warrior. One horse may not be enough. Uh, maybe you keep exploring, buddy, but that could have been a greedy move on my part. At least this encampment's a little bit easier to deal with. And the settler has finally made it all the way down to the deers. Well, found this city. Although maybe we should take the one more step. Let's take the one more step, found it. Of course, loyalty would be a little bit of a problem, but we can go ahead and you know quickly buy out a monument. Um, wait, minus eight per turn? I thought it was gonna be a little bit of a problem, man. That's where I was lying. Now I'm just lying. Moscow's getting their own preserve down too, but first I'm gonna have you go for temple, mate. Tavera though, man, you need a whole bunch of help. That's all you need, man, help. At least we'll get you the lava, give you the standard build, man, you're gonna be fine. If I can get myself uh, some kind of faith unit up here to at least turn this guy over to my own religion, then I might have some chance of holding the city without bringing in a governor, but I might just have to be a governor, which is fine. I will unlock a new one in just four turns with this medieval fairs stuff, so they'll get their stuff back up there pretty quick. Although, Slowly Kamsk might not survive. He's just being, uh, came down here by the man at arms, which must have come from that old barbarian encampment, which just, you know, I got rid of. I thought that it was just gonna leave me alone. I guess not. I had ought to be thinking way smarter than I evidently was. Commercial hub finished in Kazan. We'll get the market next. Looking forward to getting more of these traders. Literally got one singular trader right now, and that is not enough. Let me check out. Yes, it is Panda Gang. Oh, but your housing's not that good because you don't have the aqueduct down. We're doing that next. I forgot. Ah, uh, but the reinforcements have arrived and other enemies. These Georgian missionaries. I've got one apostle to cut them off, and I've sent some reinforcements. Much like the same over here. Uh, thankfully, we've got one Scythian horseman to take the brunt of this man-at-arms, but the city of Simoliansko will survive. Oh my gosh. All, all the dudes coming after my horsemen. Literally five dudes. Way too many. Just chill. Stay away. So uh, get yourself stronger. Ooh, now these missionaries might be coming right into my lap. I sh might be able to just spread religion. Let's spread religion one more time. No panda gang still, that's fine. But these dudes, I'm just gonna keep an eye on them. See where they go. And bring them over to some cities that I would like to convert, like a villainous, like a Warsaw. And then I will ambush them. Temple complete in Moscow, and now we got a preserve coming here. A grove coming in Volga. This gives you two food, two production. Sorry, two food, two faith, and two culture. Let me hit the appeal button. And these are all very appealing tiles indeed. Oh, not again. So many dudes. My poor horseman. Should not have left his boys. 
That's my fault. And I gotta get this horse's back online, dude. It's been constantly destroyed by the barbarians. Gotta do a better job of uh, protecting that. As for villainous, we're gonna convert. Get 100 gold out of converting, because that's just the money you get these days. And begin our ambush on these missionaries. So I don't know if I have 400 guys, but I've got a new city coming down here. Athrakan. Let's see if the forest fires will stay away. You can get some fur. Work on your lavra. Just all around have a nice chill life on this little sea over here. Hopefully no one bothers you. I want a whole new city too here. On the Baltic Sea. Not of God, but it's got a Nizini in front of it. And maybe that'll help Tver a little bit. Just a touch. Just a touch. We do have a governor coming through in just a couple turns. And there we are. Medieval fairs. Okay, what kind of governor should we go after? Pingala. That's a usual safe bet. But, I don't know. Reyna. Also, this guy relies a lot on uh, culture for getting new tiles faster. I feel like Amani is someone who... Uh, <clears throat> long term is going to be very helpful. So, let's stick you... Oh, we got two cities now in trouble. Let's get you in Tver. And let's get more apostles in general just to deal with this issue up there to the north because I'm seeing our guys are having a tough, tough time maintaining the Panda Gang. If we look up here, anything north of St. Petersburg, there's no Panda Gang. That's hurting my loyalty uh, and it's hurting what my city's, uh, their food, their housing. It's just bad all around, man. Let's get our dudes in position though. I'm gonna go for some kills here. I think with a new government change, we should do something a little bit different. Go for colonization. Speed up the settler process. I feel like more settlers, less of these pesky barbs killing me constantly. Now let me queue up a couple of these guys. Monument and Granary take one turn. How has the city got 50 production? Do we break civilization? We do have a World Congress. I'm hoping my borders do not get told not to grow. That'd be a pretty awful thing to do to somebody. But it looks like nothing here is impacting me, really. What really is distressing is the lack of horses and my just like not having builders go over there to deal with this whole situation. What, seven turns? I'm missing out on 14. That's so much gold I'm missing out on, dude. Anyways, we do have a new settler as per usual. Let's have them head on down south. I want to see if they can settle right on the Black Sea. The four key lens is telling me that there should be space for myself. All right, now that I got these guys where I want them, it's time to strike. There's one strike and two. Looks like... Villainous, you didn't do anything. You didn't do anything, Villainous. I swear Warsaw should have been impacted too, but maybe just because I wasn't next door, we didn't see any pressure change. Either way, I will continue to stalk this crowd. All right, man, cruising through these different religions. I'm not seeing anyone who took Jesuit education, which means it should still be up for grabs. I shouldn't do that right now. Let's look at these two guys. Who's got a better promotion here? Prothalizer. Okay, that's just like way too good. And you over here, debater. Oh crap, these guys are both pretty good. You know what, I feel like we'll have plenty of debaters. So let's go ahead and evangelize a belief. Maybe we have to wait for next turn to do that. Not 100% sure. I thought that I should be able to do that this millisecond, but hey, it's fine. Just be cool, relax. Don't freak out about stuff because damn, I can send this super far. Five and five, seems like this is where we're getting the most science out of places. So I'm happy to go with, let's go Ruen. That's a super far trade route. Smolensk now done its aqueduct. What should we get next? The industrial zone is what I was thinking. And it looks like quite the reward will get plus five. Yaroslava, same situation. You can put the industrial zone down here and it will be better than plus two by the time it comes to fruition. Ah, oh, there it is. New belief for my religion. I uh, know, just what education, that's a main belief, not one of these secondary dudes. All good. Let's grab myself cross-cultural dialogue here. Confirm. One science for every four followers. Wow, that just gave me a ton of science. Thank you very much. Do you guys think I could turn this into a no-campus science victory? Now, that's what this seems to be shaping up to be to me. Don't have any of those campuses down yet, but already 50 science. Just got myself more science from that religion just there. Gonna get lots of preserves, groves, this sort of thing. Um, I think it's definitely possible. I say we commit now. Actually going for a full on uh, faith domination victory, essentially. Pretty dang tough to do when the map is so huge. Let's just look around real quick. Oh my God, so many cities. Hopefully I didn't give you any uh, nausea there. That would be unfortunate. But let's at least head in that uh, science victory direction. Finally, some apostle help here in the north. I got my triple spread in enemy territory apostle. 
Just took out the Swedes. That is now a Panda Gang. Very nice. And sadly, just ambient spreading pressure is not that strong. I'll have to send more dudes up here, but that I will. So if a server's complete, I can actually get alliances now. This is real smart. If I could get some awesome science alliance with somebody, like let's say Philip, who looks to be quite good at that sort of thing. Can we go science um, research? And you'll probably give me money too. Okay, let's do this. And in the future, hopefully our trade routes are just magnificent to my friend Philip. For the right now, we're just trying to get horses, man. Very simple guy. Just want a couple horses so I can have some horsey guys. Oh, why are you denouncing me, bruh? What have I ever done to the French? Luckily, you're nowhere near me. And looks like you're about to be taken off the face of the map, just like my scout. Marseille? Is this the end? Just a couple French cities left. Anyways, I'm not doing any of those crazy proposals. Not trying to get anybody in trouble. I'm just a chill dude. Ay, these dudes are all over me. Oh, and I actually lost a horse in this whole thing too? Damn. Good thing I got improved coursers coming out in just two short turns. Grove completed in Moscow, and now we got beauty yields all over the place. I think it's time to bust out the amount of cities making settlers too. If you've gotten through the first couple stages, you don't know what to do, start settling, man. Maybe this will finally be the turning point. Pesky enemies. Okay, we got rid of one guy. Maybe the crossbowmen will go next turn. Don't get your hopes up too high, fellas, but I do have a builder very close to the two horses we own. And one more horseman completed in the meantime. Industrial zone finished in the Yaroslav, and aqueduct should be done soon, so adjacency bonuses are going to be popping off like crazy. Settler made it to Smolensk. Let's get you down to the Dnipro, and I say cruise all the way down, man. We get a city right here next to the crabs. Get us a uh, harbor. Get us a commercial hub. Lots of trade routes going out. That'll be nice. Let's see. Oh, who will give me horses? That's actually a ton of horse. Thank you so much. Need to pump out a bunch of those guys right now. Screw the granary. Screw the watermill. Let's queue up. Horsemen. And you know what horsemen turn into? Coursers. That's going to be super soon, super strong. That way we get all these settlers out. We got nothing to worry about. If you see a castle and there we are. Divine right. Oh, divine right at the same time. That is clutch. Let's back you up. See if we can finish off. Oh, so close on the crossbowmen in there. So close. Uh, definitely switching out the government. Let me get that. Wait, monarchy? Right, this is not what I want. It is what I want right now, though, because you get way more cards. Get some arrow score right here. Right now. Um, what should we do? Light cavalry units? Yes, grab me this. Another good one. Conscription. Give me some gold for free. There are some, yes, perfect. The economic policy cards, there are some that I need here, like urban planning plus 11's pretty dang strong, man. I'm close to confirming all these policies, but you know what, instead, maybe I go here and get myself the plus 30 on the science, or the catapult myself forward. Man, the amount of lumber mills I have built is insane. Every single one of these builders that comes out, five charges, this guy's just about done. Just non-stop clicking the, the lumber mill button, it's just so strong. Two more production for free. Like, pretty much for free. Now for text, let me move along the top. Actually, it's less than navigation I need. But let me move along the top, get something like mass production, get onto industrialization. I'm thinking I can leave a bunch of these texts unfinished with like one and two turns. And that'll maintain my status as a low tech kind of guy. Which obviously means that my trade routes will do even better for me. Like if we take a look at world rankings and hit science. Oh, sorry, just right here. Technology research is 30 myself, only 19. I believe those are the numbers they're using to determine how much science and culture we're gonna give you for this trade route. Temple complete, sorry, temple next. And then maybe we pump out some settlers. Oh, I see a next settler coming in here. But you know what, I already took this nice piece of land. I'm not too worried about what the Swedes might end up doing. And finally, I got my horses back to repair. Let's go. Luckily, I was able to buy a bunch of horses from the AI. But obviously, it's really nice to have your own supply. It's got a preserve here in Tver. I'm glad to see this city's had a pretty good turnaround. The loyalty situation is still not optimal. I need that governor in here to make sure that it doesn't start flipping. But I mean, because, I like, dude, look at a place like Hampstead here. Ten pop. Ten pop. But hey, now I'm into Golden Age territory. I went from dark to golden. That means heroic. Let's see what people have to say about that and what kind of dedications I can get myself. Okay, reform the coinage. Traders are going to give me three more gold. I'm getting this one for sure. Um, population for cities on a different continent. I don't know if that really applies to me. Let me hit continent real quick. Zoom out. This is all Europe. This is all Europe. There's a tiny bit of Asia. 
in the bottom right, but I'm not cruising down there. So it doesn't seem too impactful for me. Exodus of the Evangelist, I need this. A Money Mentality. Oh my gosh, this next age is going to be insane. All right, let's do a quick checkup on our lands. One, two, three, four, five cities here in the south. Five or six in the north. We've got two settlers out here too, and this dude might have just gotten to his spot. So let's sell the city down, Tom Bolv. Builders now only getting three builder charges because, well, we didn't have the government. Oh, and we had an extra card open this whole time. Let's get urban planning in there, man. But anyways, we got rid of the uh, extra two builder charges for these cities. I mean, the yields are already insane, so I'm not too worried about it. All these cities have just been placing down uh, various upgrades. We got a lot of camps with these deers, furs, right? But also just regular lumber mills are solid too. You get an extra two production. On top of the other bonuses that we get out of this stuff, uh, just being Russian. Let me open this up real quick. Mother Russia, one faith and one production from Tundra, which is these guys. Plus the preserves here. These are some gorgeous tiles to look at. And I'm glad to see that uh, the wildfires have stopped. They were like never ending there for so long. Now let me decide what to do in St. Petersburg. We're going to get the Grand Master's Chapel. That's going to let us get regular military units with faith, which I don't uh, presume we'll need to do too much of, but we just have so much of that faith. Um, like 2,000 is insane, man. I need to go and get some apostles here. One and two. I'm kind of bottlenecked. I'm only getting them out of Kazan because Moksha here in, that, in the city with... Where's Moksha? Uh, view promotions down here. Patron Saint. You get an extra promo if you start them off there. So this has got to turn into a absolute factory for us. And another interesting thing about this city here, the, the course are coming out in just two turns. Much stronger than the horsemen. Speaking of which... Okay, you can go finish off this scout because it threatens my settler pretty badly, but I should have some other horses around like this guy right here. Let's upgrade the course. We're only 250 gold and like I said, a much stronger unit. I feel like I lost so many of my horsemen in those fights with the barbs. Anyhow, at least we have our horses back in action. That's super clutch, especially being that it's our only horses. Next here in Smully Camps, we're going to swap out this tile. Give me the industrial zone surplus five. That is wild stuff right here. We're gonna have a great industrial zone triangle going on. And I guess a further outer ring of these commercial hubs. Shrine complete in Astrakhan. We'll get this guy a temple and then find a good place for the lava building right here. Good start to a Tombov city. The faith production now almost 200 per turn. This is really spiked up. And the other exponential growths, what is this? Thoughtless, I'm not building enough walls, honestly. I get it, I get it, I've not built any walls. Thanks for watching Panda Gang. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna actually pay for Windows, so make sure to subscribe. Peace.